I'm Emily Bonilla. I am majoring in history with a minor in education. My name is Emily Flores. I am majoring in English and Spanish, both with emphasis in literature. Hi, my name is uh, Chris Piazza. I'm a fourth year literary journalism major. Um, I'm Taylor Nakatsuka. I'm a fourth year English and Asian American studies double major. I am originally from the state of Jalisco in Mexico, uh, but I live right now in Irvine. Uh, I come from San Diego, California, uh, and I'm currently zooming in from San Diego, California. <laughs> um, I'm from Elk Grove, California, which is in Northern California, and that's where I currently am. And I'm from Anaheim, California, and that's where I am right now. So I chose literary journalism because I love to write, uh, surprisingly. For me specifically, I wanted to do this because going to the sports media world, I'm a big sports fan, so I found out that journalism is a one way to get into that field, and that's how I ended up uh, doing journalism. I chose English and Spanish because I really do have a passion for the written word. I enjoy reading and I enjoy writing my thoughts down. I thought being bilingual and knowing both English and Spanish that I would major in both. I chose history initially because it was something that I've always been drawn to. Probably because my grandparents would always have history documentaries on TV when I was a kid. But as I grew up, I began to recognize connections between history that played relevant to where we are today in the present time. And um, once I entered UCI, those connections grew and I was able to, you know, analyze the connections between the past and the present and realize that history is in constant dialogue with where we are today. I came into UCI as an English major and that was because I've always really loved reading and I've been a really like detail-oriented and analytical person so I thought that that would lend itself to literature analysis and I've always been in the mind that like any career or any job could use writing skills so that's what I wanted to focus on with English um, but then I took a couple Asian American studies courses just because they seemed interesting and I really fell in love with the field because um, being being Asian American, I had never really like learned in depthly about um, my community's history before college courses. So I was really intrigued by all the things that we were learning in those courses and I wanted to take advantage of them. So that's why I added that double major. There are multiple things that you can do with both majors. You can go into like the publishing world, so you can be an editor, or you could also be a journalist. There's also a lot of people that go into law school afterwards to become lawyers or prosecutors, and also just, you know, teacher of the language or of literature as well. For Asian American studies, often nonprofits or like public service or government jobs are really popular. For me personally, I plan to go into publishing, so yeah. Some career paths that uh, history majors can take would be uh, becoming a historian. People also go into academia so they could become a teacher or they could become a professor. Uh, I also know a lot of historians go into law or a governmental or nonprofit organization type field. The way of writing isn't particularly too academic. It's more article-based writing, so shorter paragraphs. And it leads to you know opportunities of reporting, uh, being a you know, presenter, or uh, working behind the scenes in news publications or even for TV movies like script writing, content creation. So I think we all had this perception going into college that like dining halls would be kind of scary. I stayed at Mesa Court, so we had the Ant Eatery and it was actually like, really nice. There was like a lot of variety and there's so many different uh, stations to go to. But my favorite was always breakfast because like in high school, I was never the type to like sit down and have a full breakfast. So like coming to UCI and like getting those like pancakes or like waffles and French toast every morning was my favorite because it was kind of like a luxury and then always um, curly fries like without a doubt whenever I saw like curly fries at that little station I would just grab some <laughs> so that was good. Everyone's way of meeting people is different, but what worked for me was getting out of my comfort zone and joining clubs or even attending events. I think it's really important to pinpoint what you're passionate about or what you want to learn more about and then go out there and find clubs that um, is very helpful in meeting new people that also share that same interest and maybe can help you learn more as well.
Yes, I would say join a club. Uh, doesn't have to be every club. It just join one club to begin with that you resonate a lot. There are a lot of student organizations that are based off passions. There's different things like what you like to do, like anime clubs. Also, there are student associations that you could connect with people uh, of the same backgrounds. There are fun ones too. The club that I'm in is uh, Solstice League, which is the campus's top sketch comedy group. We kind of like the people that do SM SNL skits uh, on campus, specifically working towards the solstice talent competition that ASUCI puts on during you know, winter and, and spring quarters. So that I think bias, you know, is saying that's the best club to join. If you want to make people laugh, if you want to just have fun and be creative and also do something cool on campus, I would definitely suggest people to join Solstice League, but also check out all the other clubs uh, that, are, that the school has to offer. Yeah, so I definitely would encourage everyone that can get involved in research to get involved in research. It's a really good way to get develop more knowledge and skill in something that you're interested in. What's really nice about research here at UCI is that you really can come up with a topic that maybe you hear in class, but don't really talk about too much, but you want to keep learning and you can find a professor or any mentor that is willing to work in that topic with you, then you can just research it. I think it's a really good opportunity. So my advice would be really try to find that happy medium where academics do play priority because your education is such a great tool that you have while you're here at UCI and you need to utilize it to the fullest, but also in that don't forget that you have to worry about your mental health and how you're doing and self-care. So I would definitely say don't procrastinate things last minute. If you just kind of create a schedule or a to-do list that kind of gives you that mental reassurance that you're on the right track, it's important to have this balance. It's not fun when everything seems to be be coming all at once. One thing that I really enjoyed about Humanities Core was the fact that we got to experience an array of different professors from the School of Humanities. They're all experts in their field. You really felt like you got a good sense of what they study and you to experience their excitement when they were speaking on their subject. The other thing was that I had my thinking transformed because in Humanities Core, I really honed in on thinking critically when looking and analyzing any type of media. It makes you realize that you can't just take things on face value. I really enjoyed that. I would describe Humanities Core as a year-long course that has kind of an umbrella type topic that is touched upon in each quarter. At the end of each quarter, even though they're all three separate, they all have the underlying theme connecting them. At the end, you're able to see all these different connections of this topic. I've really enjoyed classes taught by Professor Julia Lee. Um, she's part of the Asian American Studies and the English program, so both my majors, so that's one of the reasons I first took one of her classes because it was cross-posted. What is special about her is that she's like really funny and sarcastic and she teaches like really fun and contemporary topics. Some examples were like Asian American coming of age or Asian American pop culture. Like I feel they're just very contemporary and relatable topics. I definitely recommend people take any classes for her. A must-take class here in the Humanities at UCI is African American Studies 40B. The whole 40 series, so 40A, B, or C, are really good. I did end up taking all of them. Uh, I think 40B is just such a good class, a very eye-opening. The material is really intriguing. It's really interesting things about our society right now. So I definitely think that that's a, a must-take class for everyone. The professor that everyone should take, it's actually also the professor for that class. His name is Jared Sexton. I think that just his passion and knowledge on what he teaches is mind-blowing. I still remember a lot of things I learned from him and I took him my first year so it's definitely an impactful class and a very impactful professor. <laughs> What I've known and what I've you know, really appreciated is going to your academic advisors. Uh, they are located at the Office of uh, Undergraduate Study. Right now, during the pandemic, they've been available online. You can send them an email, you can have a live chat, even meet with them one-on-one. -on -one. They'll look at what you need to do and help you kind of organize what classes to take, and how many units to take, and just to know that you're on track to graduate at the right time. Another cool thing that they also offer is peer advising. So sometimes you may not be talking to the actual academic 
advisor, but also your peers. And you may come to know them and you may become friends and you can always ask them questions and they'll help you out as well. Our first two students, I'm a peer-academic advisor. I understand that it can be very nerve-wracking coming to a university, but luckily at the um, academic advising office, we do have peer advisors as well as our academic counselors. If you are looking for help on course landing, you can always come in so we can provide you with some insight on when it would be best to take certain quarters, but definitely during the first quarter, we recommend that students take 12 units. take advantage of all the opportunities you can. I know like college and the transition can be really scary at first and you're sort of unsure what to do and how to act, but push yourself to sign up for anything that sounds interesting because UCI offers a lot of different opportunities and I wish first year I would have like pushed myself to go to things like that. I would just recommend to go to anything that sounds fun. It's an opportunity to just check out new things. Take your time. You're a freshman. You're not graduating in one year. You may be graduating three or four years. Enjoy the moments if you're living on campus. Enjoy that uh, college experience of commuting. You know, get involved on campus, looking at different student organizations. Do things at your own pace. There's no rush. Uh, most of the time, you won't be getting all the classes you want. Take what classes you need to take and then continue on. Do it step by step. Three or four years later, you'll realize that you're not too stressing over and you know you actually have a lot of time on your hands. Thank you so much. All right.